Hello class, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I would like to complete one of our practice problems using the substitution method where we need to first solve for acceleration and then with our calculated value of acceleration we can solve for the initial velocity of the object. So let's go ahead and get started. A go-kart moves with a constant acceleration to reach a velocity of 7.5 meters per second over a time of 4.5 seconds. During the period of acceleration, the go-kart's displacement is 19 meters. Calculate the initial velocity of the go-kart. So what let's do first is draw a simple picture and label the picture. So what we have is a final velocity of 7.5 meters per second. So right here we have final velocity of the go-kart, 7.5 meters per second. <clears throat> the time interval is 4.5 seconds and the go-kart's displacement is 19 meters. So let's go ahead and provide a dimension. So change in the go-kart's displacement, 19 meters. The time interval, identified by delta T, is 4.5 seconds. And our initial velocity is unknown, but we know that we have to put this in units of meters per second. Okay? So our acceleration is also unknown. So I'm going to put a question mark there, but we know that the units must be in meters per second squared. Okay? So what we're going to do is start out with the base equation for acceleration. You know acceleration is equal to the change in velocity divided by the time interval. So our change in velocity is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by delta t. Now, what we want to do is calculate the initial velocity of our go-kart. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve for v sub i. My first step here is to multiply both sides of the equal sign by delta t. When we do that, on the right-hand side of the equal sign, our time interval cancels. So this gives me Time interval multiplied by our acceleration equals final velocity minus our initial velocity. So next, let's move final velocity to the other side of the equal sign because remember, we're trying to isolate initial velocity right now. So there is an understood plus sign here. So let's subtract final velocity on both sides of the equal sign. So I have initial velocity is equal to a negative final velocity plus delta t times our acceleration. Next, let's divide by negative 1 because we do not want a negative sign on initial velocity. So the initial velocity is equal to a positive final velocity minus time interval times our acceleration. Okay, now let's keep this guy here. Remember, we're going to have to use the substitution method. Okay, so initial velocity is equal to final velocity minus the product of our time interval and acceleration. Now, we have two unknowns here. Okay, two unknowns, one equation, so we can't just use that. So now let's take a look at another equation. We have the final displacement of the go-kart is equal to the initial displacement of the go-kart plus the initial velocity times our time interval plus one-half times our acceleration multiplied by delta t squared. Let me fix this here. Okay, delta t squared. Now, the problem doesn't say anything about our go-kart having an initial velocity, I'm sorry, an initial displacement, or it starts out at a position other than the origin. So we know that the initial displacement of the go-kart is zero. So let's go ahead and get rid of that because that goes to zero. 
So final displacement is equal to, well, right here we have initial velocity. Now that's what the problem is asking for us to solve for, but we know that initial velocity is equal to final velocity minus delta t times our acceleration. So what we want to do is use the substitution method. So I'm going to write this. I'm substituting this new equation that I have for initial velocity. I'm going to use hard brackets. So final velocity minus time interval times our acceleration, okay? And I want to use hard brackets here just to make a mental note for myself that we are using the substitution method here. Now, we cannot forget our time interval. We're going to multiply this equation that we substituted in for initial velocity times our time interval plus one half times our acceleration times delta t squared. Now, at this point, we need to distribute our time interval right in here, okay? So final displacement is equal to our final velocity times our time interval minus when we distribute delta t here. So delta t times delta t is equal to delta t squared. So we have delta t squared times our acceleration plus one half times our acceleration times delta t squared. So things are looking really good at this point. So what we need to do is plug in the values that the problem gave to us. So our final displacement, you've already identified that right here when we sketched our uh, picture here or our diagram. The change in the go-kart's displacement is 19 meters. So 19 meters is equal to our final velocity, so 7.5 meters per second, times our time interval. We've identified this, 4.5 seconds, minus our time interval squared, so 4.5 seconds. You're going to square that times our acceleration plus 1 half times acceleration, times 4.5 seconds, and we're going to square that, okay? So what we need to do is grab our calculator. So 19 meters is equal to, so I have 7.5 times 4.5. I get 33.75. Now let's take a look at the units here. I have meters per second times seconds. And algebraically, we can write this as seconds over one. So we know that the seconds will cancel, leaving us with units of meters. So right here, I have 33.75 meters. Then we have minus 4.5 seconds squared. So not only are we going to square the numerical value, we also have to square the unit value. And just to uh, do a reality check here, we know that this value, when we square it, has to be between 16 and 25. So let's see where we're at. 4.5 squared, 20.25. And seconds times seconds is seconds squared. So minus 20.25 seconds squared times acceleration. Okay, plus one half times acceleration times 4.5 seconds squared. Now, 4.5 seconds squared, you've already calculated this value. We have 20.25 seconds squared. Let's divide by two, that's going to give us 10.125 seconds squared times acceleration. Okay. Now at this point, what we need to do is combine like terms. So we have units of meters here. I want to move the 33.75 meters to the other side of the equal sign. So this is a positive value. So we're going to subtract. So 19 meters minus 33.75 meters should give us 14.75 
negative 14.75 meters. This is going to be equal to, I've got negative 20.25 seconds squared times A plus 10.125 seconds squared times A. So this is going to give me a negative 10.125 seconds squared times our acceleration, okay? Now, remember, what we're doing is we are going to solve for the go-kart's acceleration. We're going to use that calculated value. We're going to plug it in right here, and then we can calculate the initial velocity of the go-kart. So, to isolate our variable here, I'm going to divide both sides by a negative 10.125 seconds squared. So right here, negative 10.125 seconds squared. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So you can see that our negative 10.125 seconds squared cancels out. And this is going to isolate the acceleration. So right here, I have a negative divided by a negative, so we know we're going to have a positive value for acceleration. 14.75 um, divided by 10.125, so we're going to have one point something. So 14.75 divided by 10.125. I get 1.456. Let's take a look at our units. I have meters per second squared. Okay, so our acceleration is equal to 1.456 meters per second squared. And I'm going to put the dotted box around this guy because we need this calculated value. Remember, we're using this calculated value to plug into this equation and we're going to solve for initial velocity. Okay? So, I'm going to erase some of this here. I'm running out of room. Okay, let's erase this here. Okay. So, I'm going to rewrite this equation here. Initial velocity is equal to our final velocity minus time interval times our acceleration. Okay? So, our final velocity, the problem gave that to us. We have 7.5 meters per second minus time interval 4.5 seconds times our calculated value of acceleration right down here. 1.456 meters per second squared. So according to the order of operations, we are first required to multiply here. So I have 7.5 meters per second minus, I have 4.5 times 1.456. This gives me 6.552. Now let's take a look at our units. So I have seconds times meters per second squared. So this can be written as seconds over one. So one of our seconds cancels, leaving us with units of meters per second. Okay, so 7.5 minus 6.552 gives me 0 0.948 meters per second. And this is the initial velocity of the go-kart. And that is our answer. So I hope that uh, us doing this problem together helped you out today. If you have any questions, feel free, give me a call. You can send me an email or you can message me through Canvas. I hope you have a wonderful day.